Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, my name is Georgiana. In today's video, I'm going to speak about these brushes. They're the Do Care Makeup brushes and there are 13 pieces. I got them from Amazon. They uh, cost £17.98 for 13 brushes, which is amazing. And I completely forgot that I bought them because I bought them back in uh, 1st of December, it says here, 2020. So I purchased them on December. In this video, I'm going to show you a close-up of each brush and just how they come and how they look, basically. And in another video, I'm going to put them to the test and see my first impression on how they work on the skin and how they apply makeup. I'm looking here on Amazon and Do Care has many products that look so good. I don't know how good they really are because I only have another set and I have the sponge. I am happy with those, but I had a hit and miss with uh, two sponges, beauty sponges and a brush from Do Care that I didn't like. Check out my video to know more. I'll link it in the description to see what wasn't good and avoid. I think they have their own website as well. Oh yes, they have their own website as well, as well as being on Amazon. I didn't think to look at the website properly and get them from there. Maybe they're cheaper there or something uh, than Amazon. I'm not sure. You would have to really look into that a bit. Oh my lord. They have so many products if you look at the, their website. So first of all, they come in this pouch, which looks very cute. It's one side green and one side white like that. And it has this little detail here, the zip detail, which looks very um, sturdy and very quality. It looks very cute and is rosé gold. And it's very travel friendly because you can pop all the brushes in here and just take them with you whenever we're gonna be allowed to travel, if we're gonna travel ever again. I just think it's such a bargain to spend 17 pounds, 98, yes, let's, let's say 18 pounds, okay? 18 pounds on 13 brushes, it's amazing, amazing value for money. So I can't wait to see what these brushes can do. Let's have a closer look. I'm trying to remove them all, but there are so many I can do it with one hand. Look how cute they are. They have this rose gold metal detail on them and they're all white and fluffy looking. So I can't wait to do my makeup with these and put them to the test. They come with a leaflet. It says instructions and it says all the details for how to use each brush in here. But not that you can't use it differently. And a little sachet of... Uh, activated carbon do not eat i won't eat but uh, this is what it's inside here the leaflet and the brushes the pouch itself as you would expect is not leather it's a uh, synthetic leather uh, vegan how they like to call it nowadays synthetic leather that's how it's called since forever since i know this vegan word is lately attached to everything so the people like it more that's my personal opinion synthetic leather it looks very cute and inside is green and I personally really like the combination of colors because I'm a fan of green and yeah I just like the pouch so let's see what it says on Amazon first about them and then I'll show you each brush it says here that this material uh, the rose gold is aluminium and the handle is made of wood as you would expect the weight to these is not too heavy it's not too light either they just feel I don't know, they feel quality. They feel very quality in my opinion. And I have brushes from brands like Estelle Oder, Chanel and um, I don't know, Bobbi Brown. Just brushes that are on the luxurious kind of pricey side. And I must say that these feel... I don't see a difference between the quality feel and those brushes, in my opinion. These eco-friendly brushes made with eco-friendly sustainable materials. They're soft and bull, bull velvety. Bull velvety. They're soft and bull velvety. Bull velvety. I don't know what that means. I've never seen this word in my life. Bull velvety synthetic fibers. If any of you know what bull velvety is, please let me know in the comments below. More fluffy and softer than normal fibers. Professional brush shape can perfectly blend and apply blah blah blah. The cream powder blah blah. High standard handle with the quality wood custom made logo and gold ferrule. Ferrule. 
in combination, we would like to offer you the best product experience, non-slip, cruelty-free, easy to grip for a long time, great for sweating hands. So if you're nervous with applying colors, how I am when I don't work with beige and I'm sweating, these are perfect, they won't fall on my hand. With a case, including a case bag to store and easy to carry for traveling, ideal day gift, DoCare is committed to offer you a great purchase experience. Your purchase is protected by Amazon and backed by DoCare. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, and it says here more details about the manufacturer, how the package weight is 0.4 kilograms, says here. So it gives you a lot of details about the color of the one, green and the format and the blah, blah, blah. I don't know if you're interested in that kind of technicality. You can find these things on Amazon. I won't bore you with a lot of stuff. Um, needless to say, the reviews are really good on these brushes. It has almost five stars reviews. Now I'm gonna look at each brush on the instructions and tell you what each one is for. Even though, of course, a powder brush you can use for bronzer or um, contour brush you can use for highlighter or something, you know, you can obviously use brushes uh, for the different purpose that they were initially intended for. The first one is the powder brush, expertly sweep on blush, bronzer and finishing powder. This feels very soft. And I personally apply my powder with a smaller brush because I want to target the areas where I uh, I want to be precise with uh, applying powder. I don't normally use a big brush like that. So that's why I'm saying I might apply bronzer with a big brush or, I don't know, contour on the side of my cheeks. Uh, but this says it's a powder brush and it feels very soft to me to the touch. I don't know how it's going to do when apply powder, but this is how it looks like. It has the logo here. They all do. They look very quality. They feel quality. The second one is the buffer brush. Use it to apply an even application of face powder, bronzer or blush or for blending. The third one is the flat buffer brush, buffs out cream and liquid products, creating that perfect canvas you crave. This is the foundation brush, apply liquid or cream products such as foundation and primer. This is the highlight brush. The brush can be used to do blush and highlighter. The number six is the contour brush shaped to define the forehead and cheekbones. Number seven is the blush brush. The brush can be used to do blush and highlighter. Moving on to the eye brushes is number eight, the shader brush, packs on eyeshadow and shades on the eyelid. Number 9, the blending brush, apply and combine shadow shades. Number 10, eyeliner brush, deliver sharp lines with liquid eyeliner. I must say I'm a fan of these type of brushes. This line like that, I find it very helpful because when you apply the eyeliner, you can even tap it like that, especially if you have hooded eyes. You can just tap on top of that skin that you know, you have, I have at least, hooded, if you hooded, have hooded eyes, and you can just, if you use gel eyeliner or even powder uh, eyeshadow, you can just pat like that on top and then close and just connect, you know, but you can st look straight ahead and just tap like that or just drag. It's easier because it's already, it has the line, you know, so it makes it easier to maneuver 
for hooded eyes, for my hooded eyes at least. So I'm actually a fan of these brushes. I have two from Kiko. I liked it so much when I first got one from Kiko that looked this shape, like that looked like that, that I got another one. So when one is dirty and I didn't clean it in time, I can use the other one. That's how much I like this shape. But we'll see what this does because I see a little, a little hair sticking out a bit longer than the other. So I think I need to trim that. It's not a biggie, but hopefully it's gonna be as good as the Kiko ones are for me. Number 11 is the shader brush. Packs on shades in small areas. Number 12, concealer brush. Use it to apply concealer on the eyelid. I don't know if I'm going to use it for that. As I said, you can just use them for other things. I normally use this type of brush to apply in the outer corner. First I spritz it with face mist and then I just take a really intense darker color usually and I apply this in the crease, in the outer crease like that, tapping it. So usually I do that or um, I don't know, maybe smudge little lines like that because of the compact kind of flat tip but uh, I could use it for concealer and see if I like it this time I don't know and we have this brush which is number 13 the last one in the set and it looks like a lip brush to me if I would just see this without reading this let me read here eyebrow brush use it to apply liner with precision and it's very cute I must say it's very glam looking um it just reminds me of a more expensive luxurious brush it just looks very sturdy and very firm that's the word it looks firm and i think that's gonna do a really good job with eyebrow actually looking at it you know what i prefer in my eyebrow brushes if i'm going to use a uh, dip brow pomade um, or gel types of eyebrow products i like them to have a spoolie at the other end so i can just apply and then go like this and comb my eyebrow so i like my eyebrow brush to do that so i might use this for eyeliner as well if it works because I do prefer it for that. It's a bit fiddly to just use the brush and then get a spoolie separately and comb the eye. For me personally, I like it when a spoolie is at the other end, but never mind. This is a their eyebrow brush. That was all. I hope you found it useful if you're thinking of, I don't know, getting these brushes or gifting them to someone. And don't forget to like my video if you thought it was useful and subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! And uh, I do this makeup videos and stuff because I like it. Hello and welcome to my channel. Over excitement to just fill me up with energy because I'm going crazy in the house. And have a really close look at them and uh, see what, uh, you know, how they look like. How much they cost, how much, how many are they in here. And a helicopter is coming. Pass already. As I was saying, I have these makeup brushes which come with a pouch and I cannot believe I forgot about these brushes. Look how perfect they look. Oh, I should make the thumbnail like this. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why